Greetings and welcome to Pinball Help. Mike here. Work continues on this William Splash pinball machine, as you can see here. I basically now have the game almost completely working. I'm still trying to find the issue with this left slingshot, which the game manual calls a kicker. Um, it won't fire, and I now have traced the problem to somewhere up on the driver board. I checked continuity between the switches here and the pin right here which I've identified as the trigger pin for that kicker so I put a meter and continuity on that and checked it and I verified that it does work so I verified there's power to it I've replaced the driver transistor and the pre-driver and still no luck so in the schematics it passes through these two chips here one is a 7408 and one is a 7402. And I'm beginning to believe that even though I did a test in circuit just using um, the diode functions, uh, I'm beginning to believe that there's definitely a problem with one of those chips. I, had, I don't have a logic probe and I haven't busted that out, but I've been trying to find these chips. This 7408 is, apparently they don't make them anymore. So there's a couple of equivalences, but one of the problems is the, not all of the equivalent ones will work, so there's apparently a high voltage and a low voltage version. If you're using a 7408 in a low voltage situation, say maybe uh, switching lamps on and off, um, you could use a different one than the high voltage ones which are in these solenoid drivers, so they need the higher voltage. So basically I found, and it took me a couple of days to do the research, the, the 7408N and the 7402N uh, are hard, pretty hard to find, especially the 7408. So there is a 74HCT08 and the 74LS08, which are the low voltage versions. And then there's high voltage version, which is the 74F08 and the 74S08. The chips cost anywhere from about a buck fifty on up um, per. So I've got some of those on order, so I'm going to wait and get that in, and then I'm going to socket this and uh, see if that solves my problem. At this point, I've checked almost everything else out, so that's my recourse. Uh, you know, usually it's a last resort to have to replace chips on the board, but I'm pretty sure this is what my next step is. So it's the only thing keeping this game from being fully operational, so... Now I play the waiting game, waiting for the parts to come in, and uh, the next time, perhaps when you hit get to the next video, I'll have the parts in, and I will be able to report on whether or not we solved the problem. So stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching. Visit pinballhelp.com.